reading off a script, so can you I know, but I need you? it. You don't need it. Give me the script, please. You no, I it. do need you it. Please. Script be gone. <laughs> there, I did it. Use script be gone. Get rid of the Are script. you f***ing up all of your lines? Use script be gone. Forget about it. <laughs> script be gone is not a real product. Script be gone is not for sale in the United States, Canada, Mexico, all of North America, South America, Asia, Europe, most of Australia, and many countries in Africa. Side effects may include bleeding, nausea, wanting to throw your script very, very far, erectile dysfunction. Please consult your doctor before using script be gone. Hello everybody, welcome back to Just The Tip Tuesday. Today, we're gonna talk about stock footage. Stock footage is a scary topic. I'm terrified. <laughs> we either laugh when we hear it, or we're rolling our eyes. In nearly a decade of working in production, I've seen just about every single kind of stock footage clip you could imagine. The good, the bad, and the really, really weird. But stock footage has come a really long way. Now filmmakers are creating beautiful cinematic footage for you to use in your projects. Stock footage is film or video footage that can be licensed and used in any other production. Think of a library of clips for you to pull from. So if there's any effect, clip, scene, archival material that you're looking for, you can probably find it in stock. Stock footage is used to fill in any gaps in your visuals or your story. Say you're editing a piece and you need a transition to get from one location to the next, but you haven't been able to film it. Or maybe you need a scene of actors that visualize what your script is talking about. That's when you might turn to stock. It's not ideal to have to turn to using stock footage in your production. We're all creatives here, so we want to be able to create our own material, but sometimes you just don't have the time or the budget to be able to do that. The truth is, our clients don't always have the budget to send us around the world or hire actors at the last moment or arrange for permits to film, say, an astronaut shopping in a grocery store. Looking for stock footage doesn't have to be a negative, tedious process. Tune in next week and I'll show you some of my favorite stock sites and how we can really use stock footage to tell the very best story possible.